Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. Link's stretching out a little on the beach here. Pretty view, wouldn't you say? But, well, I guess we have to go do stuff now. Sorry, Link, your vacation's over. So we're gonna head back in the water here as Zora Link. And where we're gonna head is to this uh, pretty obvious little rock structure that's out here. Uh, if we head over there, we're gonna be able to uh, pretty much finish collecting the rest of the eggs. So that's definitely where we have to go next. I kind of like doing this. I don't know. It's just fun. <laughs> Something It looks cool. But um, Also, if we come out here, Zora's going to come up and talk to us. So um, I suppose we should oblige him and see what he wants. Oh, cow, haven't you seen any gold-colored fish around here? Gold-colored fish know this area very well. I was thinking of getting one to guide me to Pinnacle Rock. If the water wasn't so murky, I wouldn't have to rely on the guidance from a gold-colored fish. Gold-colored fish, gold-colored fish. You need to get a gold-colored fish. Yeah, we need to get a gold-colored fish. Thankfully, we have one, so we're good. Well, let's check out the sign. Pinnacle Rock ahead, beware murky water and sea snakes. Ooh, sounds fun. Alright, so now once we get in here, for some reason we're taken to the surface of the water, which is not where we need to be. Uh, we want to come on down and get out our gold-colored fish. And let him out. <laughs> yeah, I like how Link does this. He's kind of dumps him out, you know. Get out of here. Whoa, holy crap, he's huge. You have strange powers, Link. I have a request for you. Please follow me. Whoa, holy crap. Okay, fine. <laughs> so this guy is going to lead us to Pinnacle Rock. Again, much like Gerudo stuff in Ocarina of Time. You know, the uh, the guide that we had to have, the Poe in the Desert Wasteland or whatever it was called. Uh, haunted Wasteland, I think. But yeah, it's very much the same way. If you stray off the path that this guy takes, then you will be sent back to the beginning and have to do it over again. So pretty much just follow him. It's really pretty easy to do. Uh, it's really not that bad. I'm pretty sure all these signs just say they point to Pinnacle Rock, but um, so they're really not worth checking out. But really, just keep following him, and he will wait for you at each sign, so that's always good. And once you reach here, we've reached the end. Here in the depths of Pinnacle Rock live many dangerous sea snakes. My friend is trapped here. Link, can you please find a way to rid the area of all the sea snakes and help my friend? Yep, let's do it. Alright, so this is Pinnacle Rock. It's not quite a new zone. That's really cool looking, by the way, with the sun, like, setting right there. That's actually so cool, but... Um, anyway, we're gonna have to check out each of these little, uh, holes that we find in the side. Basically, um, there's a really easy way to do this, and inside of each of them is gonna be a sea snake. So make sure you come from the side so it doesn't actually, like, hit you or anything. Then, uh, just hit it with your electricity, it's gonna come out again. And do the same thing. Once you hit it twice, it'll die and then we can go inside and claim what is here. And of course, as you can see, our next Zora egg is here. So the last three of the seven are gonna be hidden inside of uh, various sea snake caverns, but what I like to do here to make sure I get them all is to go to one and then go to the one right across and then go to the, uh, the next one right below it, go right across, and then, you know, just keep repeating the same thing. That'll ensure you get to all of them because in order to get the, uh, the, all the rewards from this place, you will need to go in all of them. Okay, I thought maybe I was going to get hit there. If, if, he, uh, if you are standing right in front of him as he uh, comes out, then he'll kind of like grab you and throw you around for a little bit. It's kind of annoying. Alright, so let's uh, refill our magic. There are a bunch of pots around some of these. I guess it's a good idea to pick them up. A lot of them seem to contain hearts, though, so I don't know how useful that'll be. I guess it'll help refill our life either way. If you do run out of magic, you can go all the way down to the floor of this place. There'll be a bunch of pots that have uh, magic refills in them. This place, it's, it's kind of eerie without the music here, too. I mean, the music is pretty creepy anyway. Okay, yeah, there you go. I wasn't anywhere near being in front of him there, but um, I guess that's just how it goes. Okay, now you have to figure out. I guess it was... If it wasn't this one over here, I'm going to have to go to this one eventually anyway, so... Hey, all right, there we go. All right, so it looks like this guy's got more pots. Yeah, well, it's probably a waste of magic, but who cares? There are plenty of refills around, so it's not that big of a deal. And now that we've done this one, we're going to have to go straight across. This does get um, rather tedious, if you ask me, because it's a long swim, really, in between each of them. And uh, it's it, if you look on the map, it looks like there are only, like, six, but there's actually a lot more than that, because a lot of them are kind of on top of each other. And, yep, got hit again. Oh, that one went quick, thankfully. All right, dude, get back out here. Alright, looks like we got another egg in this one, so that's good. Okay, so there is egg number two. Now let's head back out and down to the next one. Which uh, looks like it's down there, I don't think. Yeah, there's not one in between, so let's go get this one. And it's on night of the first day, and that sounds really funny underwater. Huh? 
Alright, so let's finish this guy here. Alright, that one went pretty well. Now there's a treasure chest behind this one. I think this just has rupees in it too. There are a lot of rupee chests around this area for some reason. Okay, dude, come on. And as I figured, 20 rupees. Awesome. Alright, so now let's go across. I think there's only a few more left. I'm pretty sure there's only like one more level to go, so that would mean that there are three left, including this one. Alright, so he comes out and we hit him. Crap. <laughs> I went pretty much straight into his mouth. It, it, once he starts coming out, it, it's kind of hard to start steering yourself again. But, all right, I think it was this one back over here. There we go. Looks like this is another pot one. With another heart. Okay, we got that one. So now let's drop down to the final level where we're going to find uh, the last egg as well as finish defeating all the sea snakes. So here's the second to last one. Oh, get him. There you go. <laughs> it seems to be rather picky. I don't know why, but... All right, you can see we're also starting to run low on magic. I told you that lightning stuff really does take a lot of it. All right, so in here is the final egg. So really, I guess you could leave right now, but you don't want to because there's actually a better reward once you defeat um, the, all of the, the sea snakes. So let's head across and now take care of the final one. Um, again, like I said, there are magic refills down here. So if you need them, feel free to get them. Oh, wow, there's a heart there too. Awesome. All right, so now let's finish taking out the final sea snake. There we go. And as you can see, once you defeat the last one, the uh, seahorse will come out. And he looks really happy, by the way. Look at that huge smile on the side of his face. So, hey, all right, those two have been reunited. And uh, also, if we want, we could go back. There's another chest. Again, I think it only has rupees, but I'm going to get it anyway, just because I can't leave a chest unopened if I see it, you know? Yep, 20 rupees. Yeah, there we go. I, I've been forgetting, but look look at his mouth. He looks <laughs> He's smiling so big when he opens the chest. That's awesome. Okay, so now let's talk to the seahorses. Thank you, Link. This is a symbol of my deepest gratitude. Oh, look at them back there. So I think they're... I don't know. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be more than friends or if they're just that happy to be reunited. But anyway, we get a piece of heart for it. So, you know, all the tediousness has been washed away because we now feel so good about it. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so now we are done with Pinnacle Rock and getting all of the eggs around here. So what we're going to do is head all the way back up. And we're going to head back around to the right because this is the way we came in. Well, look at the moon. You can even see it from right here. That's kind of creepy looking. Huh? <laughs> all right, so let's make our way back out. And this time we can just pretty much go straight forward. It's going to send us back to the beginning, but that's fine because that's where we want to go anyway. And then just turn around and head back. And that will take us back to the actual Great Bay Coast. I don't know if this Zora says anything different. Probably not. Uh, the higher the, oh, yeah, I guess he does. I heard that the pirates were attacked by sea snakes near the creature's lair. It seems they dropped something precious there. Don't you wonder what it was, Macau? But we'd have to get through that murky water to look for it. Where are all the gold-colored fish when we need them? I, I don't need the gold-colored fish hint anymore, man. You, you're really going on about that, aren't you? Not Okay, so we've now got the rest of the Zora eggs, so pretty much the next step is to take them back to the laboratory. Um, in order to uh, see if they're going to hatch. So, should be cool, right? Yeah, there's no way I was going to get enough height to actually jump up there. I was way too far up. But... Okay, so let's climb up the ladder. And enter the laboratory. Oh, no, don't check out the fish. Okay, so let's climb up here one last time and finish putting the eggs into the aquarium. Come on, man. Just just dump it out. It's not that hard. No. Okay. There's 0 for 2. 0 for 3. There it goes. Okay. Finally. <laughs> I, I do not know why that's so picky, but oh well. I guess I didn't make this game, so I don't, I don't know what they were thinking. But... Alright, so then after this, we're going to have to grab the final egg and then dump it out. Hey, the same spot worked for all three. I think that's a first. <laughs> Alright, so we've now deposited all seven of the Zora eggs into the aquarium. 
Good! All of the eggs have been brought together. It's going to start. Quick, come to the front of the aquarium. Okay. So yeah, let's check this out. Whoa! So that's what a baby Zora looks like. Well, if you've ever wondered, there you go. That's, <laughs> that's what a newly hatched Zora looks like. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Hmm, I don't know what they're doing. Look at this! What does this mean? What in the world could this mean? Oh, look at that! They look like music notes! That's awesome! I've got it! Don't you understand? The way these Zora children have lined up, it means... It means what? What does it mean? Oh, okay. Uh, so let's go in front here, and, uh, okay, I think we are supposed to sort of figure it out on our own, that it looks like music notes. Um, I guess most people would know that. I think a music note is a pretty universally recognized symbol, but we can take out our instrument, and, of course, that's not in the right place. It's also not in the right place. Um, let's see, there's the right place. All right, so it's going to sort of give us what we need to play here, and it goes like this. So we have learned the new wave bossa nova. It's a melody taught by the Zora children that invigorates singing voices. That, yes, it's that instrument. Hmm, if these Zoras were born to teach this song, then hurry. You must play this song for the Zora who laid these eggs. Ah, so yes, we have now learned the new wave bossa nova. I would say that's probably my favorite song in the game, uh, pretty much by far. I, just, I love the way it sounds, and the guitar instrument is so cool. There's kind of like a, I don't know, some sort of saxophone type instrument playing in the background too. It was, it's just, it's really cool. I really like it. But anyway, now that we have learned the new wave bossa nova, that kind of marks a spot where it's like okay to reset time. Much like in Snowhead, it's okay whenever you learn the Goron's lullaby because you can easily get into Snowhead. And um, I guess with Woodfall, the same would go for the Sonata of Awakening. So that kind of marks like the point where it's all right to go and start doing some side things. And since we have reached that point, that's what I'm going to be doing next, actually. Um, the Great Bay Temple, we pretty much could get to, like, right about now. But um, I'm actually going to do a lot of side things because I kind of want to put off the Great Bay Temple as much as possible. I'm really not a fan and there's actually a lot of things that we can do. Um, now that we have all three of our transformation masks and uh, pretty much all the songs and most of our equipment, I mean, we can do a lot of things around Termina now. So, um, it may be... Uh, whoa, that's an awesome camera angle, by the way. Let's, let's do that again. Um, it may be a little bit ridiculous, almost, how many side things we're going to be doing, but let's just say I think by the time we start Great Bay Temple, I'm going to have uh, 15 heart containers and 24 masks, I believe. So, um, yeah, it, we're going to be outside of the temple for a while, but hopefully that's okay. Um, if it's not, well, that's you know that's just how I'm going to do things either way. So, um, too bad, I guess. But anyway, I guess I've kind of babbled on long enough now. So, um, next time we're going to pretty much start working on side things. So, um, it should be pretty fun. Um, there are actually... At least I can think of one big side quest that we're going to be doing sometime soon. Um, there's also another spider house that we're going to need to be taking care of and all that. So it'll be pretty fun, I promise. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.